There have been plenty of memorable moments in Eurobasket 17 so far, and I'm sure we'll have more as we move towards the finals. As a coach, I wanted to point out one particular team that has really caught my X's and O's eye. While you may tune into Latvia's game to see Kristaps Porzingis of the Knicks or Davis Bertans of the Spurs light it up for their national team, I'm more interested in how they generate their offense as it is a pure delight of ball and player movement and teamwork. Let's dive right into the footage to get a better understanding of how their offensive flow works. So much of what they do is initiated with a simple cross screen by a guard for one of their big men. And you'd be surprised by how poor the defense has been on such a simple action. Latvia simply takes advantage of terrible spacing, defenders not seeing man and ball, and an absolute lack of communication to get layups off this action with a quick pass from out top to a wide open man coming across the lane. And it's the threat of the layup that opens up everything else. This time, the guard gets a double pin down at the free throw line. The three players then fan out for better spacing, giving the postman room to operate down low for the nice jump hook. Here's the same play, and this time, after the players fan out, the post player attracts a double team, and he immediately looks for the weak side wing. He practically throws this pass blind, knowing where his teammate will be, and it gets them an open triple. This time, the big reads the defense, and rather than fan out to the perimeter, he simply cuts to the hoop when his man went to double team. An easy bounce pass gets them a dunk. Similar concepts, but a different set altogether as they initiate with an Iverson cut, but also set a cross screen at the same time. Notice that the cross screener sets a back screen at the free throw line. A better pass would have gotten him an open shot, but it flows right into a pick and roll and deep penetration. Once the defense is sucked in, some nice passing around the horn gets them a wide open three. Here's a similar set with the same Iverson cut and cross screening happening simultaneously. If they don't pass it to the Iverson cutter, then the guard getting the cross screen gets another pin down at the elbow. The pocket pass forces all sorts of terrible rotations by Montenegro, opening up an easy kick out for a check the wind I'm so wide open three ball. Latvia has some triangle offensive principles as well. Here they form the traditional sideline triangle with the guard going to the corner, and if the weak side forward pops out to the wing instead of going to the pinch post, it triggers a shuffle cut as the center cross screens for the forward. This flows right into flex action and a wide open shot out top. Same setup here, and this time the ball goes to a more pinch post position with the receivers back to the basket. Same shuffle cut into pin down on the weak side, and it's a wide open shot when the pass is on target. If you're wondering why Latvia moves so well around the court, it could be that they trained very hard under the watchful eye of a great coach, or maybe it's because they're all wearing knee undies. It's really easy to move smoothly when your jewels are being cradled in their diamond shaped pouch. The fabric is so soft, people will love to just touch it. And knee undies is so convinced you'll love them they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you don't like them, return them for a full refund. Go to meundies.com slash coachnick right now and get 20% off your first pair with free shipping. I got myself a pink pair and I love them so much, I have my wife take a picture. And you can do the same. So bounce your balls right over to meundies.com slash coachnick, get 20% off, and start moving in style and comfort. This next set I like to call the train because two players continually set double screens around the court like they're on a track. Watch how they set a double ball screen first, then continue to a double ball screen for the cutter out of the corner, and then one more double staggered pin down. That collapses the defense and opens up a catch and shoot from the three point line that goes down. Same setup here, and watch how the two screeners move like a train and a caboose. This time, after the pass out top, the first screener gets a pin down from the second screener, who gets a rhythm three. Or, the cutter off the double pin down gets the ball, and the first screener flares out to the corner for a tightly contested three that drops through the rim. We saw some horns action out of Latvia with a double high post set. They like to set the ball screen and then curl that ball screener around the weak side high post. 
You can see how open he was, but even though he doesn't get this pass, it forced the wrong rotation as Montenegro helps one pass away, and an easy pass to the corner allows him to extend the lead. This time, the initial ball screener flares to the weak side. The weak side high post sets an inside ball screen, and because the defense is so concerned with the corner shooters, there's plenty of room for the pocket pass to the roll man for the layup. So much of Latvia's offense is spread out on the perimeter, but they do have some great low post entry options as well. Watch the flare screen set at the elbow for the passer, who then turns around and sets an elbow screen for the cutter coming around. I love that it turns into a dribble handoff, they get baseline penetration and find a shooter on the weak side who rises up for the contested three. Same play again with a low post entry and then a flare and curl screen at the elbow. All that action allows Porzingis to go to work one on one and he swishes the jumper. And who needs all the fancy movement when you can enter the ball down low and just cut KP from the top for the quick release dunk. Another staple they run is one of my all-time favorites, pistol action, a handoff into an inside ball screen. Notice how they flow right into something else if they don't get a shot immediately. With the freelance, they get the defense completely out of position and beautiful ball movement creates a monster slam. Watch how the handoff into pick and roll then flows into a double pin down. The defense is forced to scramble, Latvia does not give them a second to recover by expertly attacking on the catch and eventually get a clean look along the baseline. And finally, it wouldn't be a breakdown from us if we didn't spotlight the Spain pick and roll. Check the video we did on it last season, and Latvia runs it very well. It looks like a normal pick and roll on top, but the secret sauce is the third player setting a back screen on the ball screener's man. This is well defended by Montenegro, but notice how quickly Latvia flows into another action. I love how they set a hammer screen while the pick and roll is happening out top. Easy pass, easy shot. Again, well defended on the switch with good communication by the defense, but it opens up a flash cut from the rolling big man and with tons of space to work with, he gets a bucket. And just when you think you've got this three man play covered, the left corner cuts to the hoop and the point guard finds him for the quick release jump hook. So there you have it sports fans, while Latvia ultimately got beat by a very good Slovenia team, they have a great system in place that allows for Porzingis and Bertans to get great looks and also use their gravity to open up easy shots for their teammates. Keep your eye on this team, as I'm sure they'll be a problem for the rest of the international basketball community going forward. Sports fans, to see more of our great NBA content and analysis, make sure to hit the subscribe button, but also click the bell and adjust your settings so you can get an alert the second our videos drop, because trust me, you're going to want them hot and fresh. You in?